Hi guys, Assalamu Alaikum, Sahal Aziz here and welcome back to the channel. Today I am back with one of the most requested videos of the channel, which is we couldn't confirm that you completed the written sections independently. Uh, so this is the number one problem that test takers face nowadays. And this is the number one reason given by the Duolingo English test when your test is invalid. So that's why I've got, I've been getting numerous amount of comments and numerous amount of DMs on Instagram regarding this problem. So I'm finally here to make a video about it and I can assure you that after watching this video uh, in applying all the things and the tips I'm going to give you and avoiding the mistakes that I'm going to mention, uh, the next time you sit for a Duolingo English test, you won't face this problem. So let's start. Okay, so the problem is that uh, when your test is invalid, some people are given this reason by the Duolingo English test that why your test was invalid and the reason is we couldn't confirm that you completed the written sections independently. But the problem here is that Duolingo doesn't provide much details regarding this and that's why people are confused that what exactly is the mistake we have committed or we have made which made our test invalid. So that's why today I'm going to cover everything about it. I have gathered five mistakes which people make during their test and that lead to this problem. We couldn't confirm that you completed the written sections independently. Problem number one is no hand movements. Okay, so there are numerous amount of questions regarding writing in Duolingo English test and for that you need to type. And when they're typing, they don't show much hand movements. And what I mean by that is when you're typing, you have to just show hand movements your hands uh, your hands your both hands should move and you should just give a message to the proctors that you were actually typing and this is something that many people i have i have I've seen myself that many people are silent typers when they're typing you wouldn't really notice that they're typing that they, they don't make any sort of noise while typing and they don't really move their hands and this is a mistake you have to avoid it so the next time you're writing uh, in the Duolingo English test, you have to show hand movements while typing. Mistake number two is that many people bend their head down and look down for too long while typing in the Duolingo English test. Okay, well, while answering the writing questions in DET, you have to write, you have to type. And for that, you can glance at your keyboard, but looking for too long at your keyboard and not looking at the screen will actually make your test invalid. And that is the reason that the tests of many people are invalid uh, by DET because they look too for too long uh, at the keyboard while typing. They don't really pay attention to the screen. So it is clearly said by Duolingo English test, when you are typing, you have to just uh, take a glance at your keyboard and look back to the screen. You are not allowed to look for too long at your keyboard. So you have to avoid this mistake. Mistake number three is that most of the people actually forget to uninstall the spelling or grammar checkers before sitting for the Duolingo English test. And this is the reason why uh, your test is invalid because it is clearly said by the Duolingo English test uh, official proctors and test takers that you have to close all the pro external programs before starting the Duolingo English test. And I have made a specific video on how you can actually prepare your laptop while sitting for the Duolingo English test. This is a must watch. Go and watch it. Okay, so the tip number one is you have to show hand movements while typing. Tip number two is uh, you shouldn't look at your keyboard for too long while typing. And the mistake number three is you have to uninstall the spelling or grammar checkers and close all the external programs uh, before setting or starting the Duolingo English test. All right, coming to mistake number four that the majority of test takers make, uh, which lead to this problem, uh, it is using two keyboards and two mouses at the same time. And that is a mistake uh, which makes your Duolingo English test invalid. So if you are connecting an external keyboard or an external mouse, it is completely allowed. You can actually, you can connect 
an external keyboard or mouse but you have to keep this one thing in mind that when you connect an external keyboard or an external mouse then you uh, you must use only one keyboard and only one mouse for example this is my laptop if i connect an external keyboard to this one then i'm not allowed to use this keyboard the laptop's keyboard and i have to use the external keyboard only and if i use both of them this will make my test invalid and the same goes for the mouse as well if you're using this mouse it's good but if you connect an external mouse then you have to use that only uh, and then you are not allowed to use this one or if you're using this one then you're not allowed to use the external one i think you got my point and the last point or the last mistake that people do uh, while taking the Duolingo English test which actually make their test invalid is not following the rules and regulations of Duolingo English test during the test okay and what I mean by that I've seen lots of people uh, getting help by others while taking the Duolingo English test so they actually what they do is that they tell a friend of them a teacher of them uh, to assist him while the Duolingo English test and their friend or teacher whoever uh, that is is sitting away from the screen so like he's not visible on the camera but he's giving instructions and assistance uh, to this person while taking the Duolingo English test and this can actually lead to this problem that we couldn't confirm that you completed the written sections independently for, for so for to avoid this you need to follow every single rule in regulation of the Duolingo English test before starting the test. And I have made three videos regarding this one. You can watch them all uh, in order to make yourself aware of the rules. And if you don't break them, the chances are that you will definitely get your result on the very first try. So that's it. That's it for the video. I hope uh, you guys liked the video. And if you follow all these steps and avoid all these mistakes then ho then hopefully you will not face this problem next time the next time you are sitting for a Duolingo English test and subscribe for more videos like this one bye